Senator from Rhode Island. Mr. President, uh, I am uh, rejoicing in the uh, orders that Senator Schumer read. First thing I would like to do is apologize to the hundreds of officers, men and women who have dedicated their country to, dedicated themselves to their country, and also to their families for this unusual, so we say, disruption of their promotions to ranks they have won through their merit and effort. I think also, too, though, that it's important to note uh, the contribution uh, of Senator Sullivan and Senator Ernst and Senator Young and Senator Graham and others. Uh, they recognize that military officers are not political pawns, that they are men and women who have dedicated themselves and their families to service, to defend to protect the Constitution of the United States. And so they joined in to ensure that today we can have this much delayed promotion on the floor of the United States Senate. Uh, once again, uh, Mr. President, uh, we have to recognize in the future, we can never do this again, that these men and women serve their lives decades. They serve it with courage. They serve it with integrity. They serve it with decency. They do it for this country, not for a political party, not for a uh, cause or a popular emotion. They do it to defend the country. And they're aided every step of the way by their families, by their spouses, by their children. In fact, these spouses and children make as much, if not more, sacrifices than the, the soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, guardians themselves, in my view. So let us commit that as we go forward, we shall not view a soldier in the context of a political dynamic, but in the context of his or her quality of service, her integrity, her decency, and above all, their not only solemn obligation, but complete life of preserving and defecting the Constitution of the United States. And with that, Mr. President, I will yield.